morning guys my name is Murthy Krishna from Mandalore today i will explain you uh, the topics regarding active directory what is the forest for uh, what is the forest what is the use uh, what is the domain control what is the domain what is the domain controller and what are the rules relation to active directory so first of all we will go in we will go in the forest what is the forest <coughs> Uh, good morning, guys. My name is Monte Krishna. I am from CRK Hyderabad. So today we will discuss the topics regarding the Windows Server 2008. So the topics are uh, the main topic is the Active Directory, but the sub topics are uh, in regarding Active Directory. What is the forest? Basic basic concepts in Active Directory. What is the forest? What is the First, what is the domain controller? What is the domain? So, uh, we will discuss first of all about forest. So, what is a forest? Uh, the forest uh, is the forest is uh, the, the forest is we are. Uh, um, The forest, they have different different types. For example, trees, domain, in the way we have parent domain. And child domain. So why uh, why the forest why the forest is used? See uh, in the active directory actually what is the active directory? Active directory is a the database which is controlled centralized. It is used in uh, different domains. Different So first of all in Windows in the server, the active directory uh, we are using is named as NTDM. Means network directory service. Coming to Windows 2006 server, uh, the active directory was naming as ADS. Means active directory service. In Windows 2008 server, uh, the name the name was also active directory services. But in in uh, in two thousand twelve it is named as A B B S active directory domain services. So what uh, what is the domain? The domain is a database of the domain is a database which is securely securely used in the in the company. For example, uh, we can create the do we can create our domain EKG EKG sir. EKG is dot in or EKG is dot EDU or dot ORG different different uh when you can use the different of them. So uh, what is our company what is our company name? Demandum e services. So if we 
create different server server company name, and we can create uh, our domain as lemon dot dot com. So lemon dot dot com is our domain. And we take we take it. We take it will become the child domain. Parent domain is the email dot dot com, and we take it for child. We take it is the child domain. For example, uh, we are having the mail operation Gurgaon. We are having branches in Mumbai, Pune, Chennai, Bangalore, and so on. So, lemonlord.com will be our main domain, and the child domain. Or we can create a e-tag.hmyd.com.e-tag.com. Or dot ba and we can create different for each branch we can create different different child domain and this all these domain will be connected to the main domain that is another dot com. So in this domain we can share different we can share our system and what are the what are different types of network devices are. So generally, uh, our generally our system, uh, there are there are two types of one group and two. Do you So what is the difference between one group and two? In the one group. In workbook, we can't share all the computers. Each computer, we have to maintain a separate account. But in domain, we can share all the all the resources in the same one. We can share the data, we can share the printer, we can share the all the resources. So the difference between one So if we want to if we want to change from work group to domain, we have to we have to go in my computer properties and we can we can change from work group to domain. So by changing to domain, it will we are still ask for user credentials and share the credentials. So before that, uh, the domain is installed in, in the server system and the uh, Sorry, Active Directory is installed in the server system. The uh, Active Directory which is installed in the server system is called Domain Control. Where we can share all type of resources, uh, the whole system, the laptop, network devices, printer. So in the domain controller, if we create, for example, uh, the child domain as etg.hyd, so a child domain has been created. So first of all, if a uh, if a new employee, if a new employee has joined in our organization, and we have to create this profile in this system. And we are going to add to this. Uh, for example, uh, if a user name will be this. I joined in our organization. 
ठीक है एंड वी हैव टू क्रिएट दिस प्रोफाइल इन द एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी सो वी कैन क्रिएट अ स्क्रिप्ट और कृष्णा एंड देयर इज ई टी डॉट एच वाई सो दिस इज द ईमेल so we will create create the username as monkey dot krishna and we will create the password also so after creating the user profile we will go to the the system first of all we have to join it in the domain ttp store by official after joining in domain you can uh, add this user in the system and up after the creating in profile you can share all types of data you can share other you can share the other users data you can share the printers and other it for you and this will be a very secure manner so other users other users can't log in in it at all because it is password is protected and nobody is nobody knows the password of so other users can can log in in this but other users can log in with this password so domain name is lemonlearn.com so after installing active directory what are the uh, what are the rules uh, what are the steps installing active directory so in the lemonlearn.com uh, after installing we will see users and computer so every user username and password It is stored in the user and computer. And what is the protocol that is used in the while creating username and password? The protocol is Kerberos. It is a very secure protocol uh, in which every username and password. is to uh, is to be available while the username uh, is the username and password it will authenticate to the authenticate to the active directory means it will it will connect to the active directory and, and will check whether the username and password is there in this domain or not if it is there then the user can easily log in So another one is group policy. Uh, what is group policy? In the group policy, we can uh, create. It is one type of rule where we can create our own. For example, uh, if we want to block a ULP, we need to in the user special. If our provider is the user USB, the printer, we can the machine can easily affect the provider. We can use that kind of also, uh, but in the office organization, we use this one. So if you want to block the block the USB, so we can create a rule. We can write a rule in the rule also to block the Uh, USB for that particular thing. Not only not only USB blocking, but we can block the website, social networking sites also, and etc. So after users and computers, we will go to Active Directory. Type 10 services. And next one is 
टर्मिनल सर्विस तो टर्मिनल सर्विस टिकेट यूज पर रिमोट लॉबी Means if you want to troubleshoot any user computer in other department, so you can ask this, uh, ask this uh, IP address, and then with, with uh, this IP address, you can log in to his system by using his relevant password. So it actually directly ties them. There are different types of computers. Uh, which active directory so if uh, if you want to use the email email application active directory and domain are most important if both are present only we can install email application like outlook outlook express etc So this is about the Active Directory and the domain. So next, we go to the Active Directory rules. Actually, actually, these words are also known as FS. using the domain master role we can create and delete different type of department in the child domain we can create and we can modify the domain name so the employee who is in account department uh, if we could if we uh, the user profile will be added in the account department and the other user who is a Quality control can be added in the quality control department. So in each department, we can give different type of permission by using the group policy. And also, we can uh, block, we can uh, give the permission for accessing different type of permission. So, what the domain master group has done? After creating the domain gmail.com and creating the http://expedia as a child domain, we can we can create uh, it, we can modify, not delete, we can modify the department names and 
So we can modify the different type of permission. Switch permission we have to do to issue them. So what happens is if you modify any of the department, it will sync to the active directory, sync to the November dot something, it will sync to the server. And automatically it will change to the it will change to the it will change the server. For example, you are having the head office in Burma and you are having the branch all over it. So in Hyderabad if we have one server, we are having server and we have installed the active directory and we have created different type of things. So if we if you change any, if you change any road or if you change anything in this department, it will automatically sync to the server and it will change, it will change the road. After changing here, it will sync to the brain of the road. Then here it will change the road. So it is not necessary to change at every location. It will change other location. So this is about the domain master. Coming to the coming to the second row. Domain master row. Second one is schema master. What is schema? Schema is nothing but it is a process. But it is a process by creating the user to the address and giving the permission for the particular user. Schema master role. Schema master role means if you do any changes, if you do any changes in the department, means if you are adding the user and if you are deleting the user. If you are giving any new type of permission. For example, if you go to quality control department and you are uh, giving some permissions to particular users, after giving the permission, uh, it will be saved in the server. So, after saving in the server, it will automatically Sync to the other branches of other branches also. And it will sync to the main branch also. So if we do any if you do any type of changes in the, in the department, it will add so schema master code is used for adding or for creating or for any type of changes. So without this role, we can't we can't do anything. We can't we can't create we can't create the user, we can we can't so this is schema master. And coming to the schema, coming to the third one, third one is Identification number. 
for each substation, there will be Ethernet card or Ethernet card or Ethernet card. So for each card, there will be default MAC address. It is already it is already given by the it's already given by the hardware. So the the particular IP, the workstation related to the particular IP, this IP uh, connected to the it is connected to the MAC address. So that why because uh, by creating profile, by creating profile and uh, adding a profile in that workstation, no problem should be there. Because if there is any problem with the Ethernet card or SMS card, we can't. We can't add that profile to the workstation. So for every card, MAC address will be there, and uh, that address is known as this system identification number. So what this relative ID master knows is for every domain, there will be a domain ID. ID and for every workstation, there will be system identification. So, what this role does is this domain ID and system ID, um, it will connect to both of them. Connect to both of them, and uh, the profile will be added to the particular workstation. So, if there is, if there is any problem with the system identification number, then we can't, uh, we can't add the profile to the particular workstation. So this is the use of the native ID master code. And coming to the fourth one, infrastructure role. What is the infrastructure role and what is the use of it? Infrastructure means we are uh, we are planning to create a we are planning to create or we are planning to modify a new domain and we want to add other departments in the domain. So if you want to add another department or if you want to create a new domain, then infrastructure will be in the So one of the why infrastructure will be used? For secure, for secure uh, logging, for secure logging for the users, we will use this infrastructure. We will use this infrastructure. First of all, we have to plan it. For which department, what, what are the permissions they have to give, what are the group policies they have to create for this. So, for this creation, infrastructure project will be huge. And, and there is a fifth rule. Known as EPC master rule. It, it is also a very important rule. It is used for uh, user password authentication. EPC master phone uh, is used for system time. In top, uh, then by creating a new user in the domain. So for every step, uh, a log will be created in the south. So if, if a new employee has joined and uh, we want to create a profile for that new employee. So after creating a uh, username and password for that uh, or any employee, a log will be created in the server, mentioning the data type, like what time and what time we have created a user. Not only creation, but if you modify the user and if you give any other permission, group policy. So for everything, a log will be created along with the data type. So, for example, if a user has uh, given his password three times and if it is locked, 
So, for this also, log will be created in the server that particular user has uh, tried to log in this first step and it will on this box. So, it will be uh, um, the log will be having the data inside at what time we have uh, tried to log in the system and why it is logged. What is the reason for the log? It may be due to she has given the wrong password or there is a problem with the so for each operation, the log will be created in the server with the data and time. So for that, we have to use this CDC master log. It is very important because uh, uh, because the log, log, log will be created and uh, uh, what are the changes we are doing, we can know by seeing this log, the data and time. So these are the Roles used in the actual directory. And uh, thanks for giving this opportunity. Thanks to Paul and thanks to the for giving me this opportunity.